Hello there. It's the 17th of April, 2020. My name is Pastor Clint Lang from Hillside Community Church in 100 Mile House, BC, Canada. Welcome to Food for Thought, our daily devotional broadcast over the internet. If you're joining us from out of the area, welcome. Um, for those that are in our church, hope everything's going well for you folks out there today. Anyways, uh, just had a few thoughts on a scriptural passage that I came through and uh, just would like to share some of these thoughts with you. So if uh, you've got a Bible and you'd like to turn with me, I'm going to be turning into the book of Matthew, um, verse uh, chapter 7 of Matthew, starting with verse 24. So uh, starting with verse 24, we see that Jesus is speaking a parable concerning wise and foolish builders. So what does he have to say here? Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down and the streams rose and the wind blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching, because he taught as one who had authority and not as their teachers of the law. So we look here, and Jesus was talking to the people about foundations. So everybody has a house that they're building. The house is their lives. So all of us have lives to build and uh, all of us can build pretty good lives. Um, we look at our ourselves as Christians, believers, and we look at the non-believing world and, and people are, are building their lives. And uh, you might look at someone's life from the outside and see my life as compared to the, the next guy beside me's life, very similar. The question is, however, in the scripture, foundations. So Jesus speaks words of life and words of truth and words to live by. And the one person that hears his word and doesn't put the word into practice is basically hearing what God has to say, but not making a foundation to build their lives on based on uh, what God's saying. So they, they don't put the word into practice and therefore the foundation of their lives is on themselves. And, you know, a lot of people are overconfident with their ability to... Uh, be resilient in life. When the storms of life come, and they come to everybody, the storms beat us against the side of our houses, the side of our lives. The rain comes down and the storms come down. And You know, a person that has uh, built their house is thinking, yeah, my house is going to withstand this. But you get a real storm where the waters rise and the floods come and the whole uh, person's foundation is tested. The Bible says that one who hears the word of Christ and kind of goes, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do it my own way. Those are, those are maybe good words for someone to base their life on, but these are kind of just good suggestions. And, you know, I'll take the good suggestions and and maybe spit out the ones that I don't like. And I'll sort of have a form of godliness. But I'm not going to get bent out of shape over obeying the words of Christ. I mean, they're great suggestions. But really, I can take some and leave some and do things my own way. Well, that person essentially is establishing the foundation of their life on themselves. They're overconfident in their ability to weather the storms of life. And uh, the Bible says that that person 
they might be just fine when it's nice and sunny and yeah even a little bit of rain here and there comes along they're good they're okay but when it comes to a catastrophic uh, terrible storm that beats against their life if their foundation is in themselves there's no staying power there eventually you come to the end of yourself and you realize you're not strong enough to overcome what's coming at you and many people are finding this but the Bible says that the person that hears the word of God hears the word of Jesus and puts it into practice is like a wise man who builds his foundation or builds his house builds his life upon a foundation of rock now in other places in the scripture Jesus said um, on this rock I will build my church talking about himself as the Petra the rock that is immovable uh, the rock that is steadfast in the time of storm the rock that is higher than we are so you know he asks us to consider his words and if we consider his words and we yield to them and we say you know what Lord I recognize the sandy plain down there is not going to support the structure of my life when the storms and the floodwaters come and it amazes me sometimes when people repetitively build in flood zones and then miraculously all of a sudden well lo and behold the house is flooded and everything gets washed away well it's part and parcel with building on an on a sandy floodplain in this world outside of Christ it's sinking sand out there there's there's a, a song that is sung in the church um, it's been sung for ages and it's on Christ the solid rock I stand all other ground is sinking sand all other ground is sinking sand my hope is built on nothing less and Jesus blood and righteousness yet this is a principle my friends when you root yourself on the Petra of Christ it doesn't matter what storms will blow against you the rock that is rooted in Christ will not be moved because your foundation is not on yourself it's not the shifting sands of self but it is on the creator of the heavens and the earth the rock that is higher than us the rock that supports the superstructure of our lives when the winds and the storms beat us they beat against us when the flood waters rise we will not be moved wow what a promise in the word of god this is why we see the apostles were able to endure great persecution they were able to endure great hardship because their foundations were not on themselves but on Christ you know the times where we see you know even from the first martyr where Stephen was telling the truth at his own peril and they were throw, throwing stones at him and uh, Stephen was given strength by God and God opened up heaven to see Jesus at the right hand of the Father and <laughs> he could see this happening even while he was being killed for his faith he had confidence in the Lord because the Lord was the Petra on which his life was built and even at the end of his life in this body he was able to say to the Lord forgive them don't hold the sin against them Lord what do we see happen past that well the Apostle Paul whose name was Saul of Tarsus at that time, was giving approval to Stephen's death. And God used Stephen's prayer to act. And as a matter of fact, he answered Stephen's prayer in an incredible way. Because the one who was giving approval and organizing his execution was one who would later write most of the New Testament, having an experience with the living God that revolutionized him when when Stephen prayed Lord do not hold the sin against them 
the Lord saw Paul, or Saul of Tarsus, and he said, I'm going to use this man as part of my plan of redemption. So there's nobody that's out of reach of God's plan of redemption. Today, if you built your house on the sand, you're trusting in yourself, turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. All other ground is sinking sand, my friend. If you turn to Jesus Christ, he will be a rock that is higher than yourself. When the storms of life blow, you're not going to fall. You're going to stand strong no matter what comes your way. And uh, for Christians, be encouraged to know that even if you were to, to be robbed of your life in this body, you have everlasting life in Jesus Christ. On Christ the solid rock you stand. To be absent in body is to be present with the Lord. And his eternal glory awaits. Praise the Lord for that. That's awesome. And uh, you see, on the superficial level, both of these guys look like their lives were fairly sim similar. Both went through little trials and troubles. You know, the rain probably fell. The wind probably blew against both houses. But when the catastrophic storm came... Those who are rooted on the Petra stood strong. Root your life in Jesus Christ. Consider the foundation layer of your life. Where is your life being built? I trust it's in the Petra. This is food for thought.